Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up DHCP on Windows Server 2012. Firstly, we click on Add Roles and Features, we click Next, Next, Next. Now, DHCP Server, Add Features, Next, 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 and Install. Uh, while we are waiting for the installation, we can either wait, and do nothing, or we can change um, our IP address to static. Mm, properties, IP, IP4, and it has to be static. Okay, okay. Close it, close it. Now we are waiting. As you can see, um, installation has succeeded, so we can just close. Um, as you can see, the warning appeared, so let's click complete DHCP configuration, click next. Um, just choose the first one and click uh, on commit. Close. Now what we have to do is click on tools, now DHCP, click on our domain, IP4 for V4 mm. and what would they have to do what what do we have to do right now is click right click on this new scope next let's create a name for our scope DD next uh, start IP address mm. Let's have it like this and an IP end of an IP address is going to be let's say 50 59 it can be doesn't matter oh now we have to choose a subnet mask let's click next because it, it, it was chosen uh, correctly mm, mm. now we can choose an excluded address range uh, we can choose, uh, like, if we want someone to, uh, if we have someone that ha wants to have the same IP address that has always assigned the same IP address, we don't want to uh, DHCP to apply this address to somebody else because then it's going to be duplicated. So let's say it's going to be 192, 192, 168. Oh, let's say 20 maybe. And same here, one, two, two, 20, or I think you can just click like this, add. Yeah. If you want to just one, you don't have to click on end IP address. Now click next. Uh, we can just skip this. Mm. Let's uh, put an food gateway address. So add, add. next mm, domain name and DNS server. We don't have to do anything like this because we have already uh, our our server uh, servers address. So we just click next. Uh, we don't have a Win servers. Mm, activate scope. Yes, I want to activate the scope now. Next and finish. As you can see, the scope has been created. We have addresses pull, and as you can see, mm, from 10 to 59, and the 20 is excluded. Now, if you want to reserve uh, an IP address for some for some device, we can click on reservations, new reservation, and let's say. Reservation name mm. is going to be Miss uh, IP address 20. Uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.20. And now we have to put a, a MAC address of this device. I'm going to put a, a prepared one already. So, like this. Mm. Okay, we can um, 
create a description for this, but we don't have to. Let's click. Uh, let's choose both, and let let uh, let let's let's just click add. Okay, and as you can see, uh, this IP address has been reserved, and that's all for uh, setting up and the HCP server. If I helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. comments. Thank you.